I am tired of war. My subjects suffer and my soldiers heal from meaningless wounds. Our enemy tires as well. Duke Seamus of Stag has offered us a truce. If I kneel to him and call him Emperor, he'll make his daughter my bride and me Archduke of his Eastern realm. After all he has done, you would be putting a monster on the throne. The Dukes of Griffin do not bow to lesser men. But this proposal shows that our enemies are on the brink of rupture. Seamus offers us half the fruit to save the tree. The time is ripe to cut it down. The time is ripe to dismantle the Empire into kingdoms. I am going home. I will fight no more. By Elrath, This is a dangerous path of possibility. War is won on battlefield. Could have sent a message. Not in By the seven dragons. Is this how it all ends? Ivan, son of Griffin, you did not call forth your six most trusted advisors to simply give us orders for retreat. I am not running. I shall found a kingdom. Let him keep his severed empire and rule over the rubble. Foolish man! No sooner his strength reclaimed, he or his sons will come riding down upon us. Duke Ivan, we have stood beside you all these years. Listen to our counsel one last time before making your decision. I see only bloodshed in our future. To see Ashan's future, you must look at Ashan's past. I have a story I would share with you. One of impossible choices and brave decisions. That's a marvelous idea, Morazel. Let us each tell you a story, Duke Ivan. Consult the past, and then make your decision. I will hear a few stories. I owe you all as much. If you want me to continue this war, your story better have a sweet ending. I'm all ears. Who wants to start? Gore and glory. Your stories are only more tales of blood and tears. I'm not convinced. I'm going home. You are not thinking clearly. You cannot keep an empire broken any more than you could cut an ocean into two equal parts. Seamus will one day return, and the Duchy of Griffin will become one immense graveyard, from Vorin Peak to the steppes of Ranar. Now, at least, the battle is far from our home. You may be dead before this certainty comes to pass, but your ghost will be there and despair. My dear Anastasia, your outrage will not sway him. You have other methods, wizard. It seems he longs more for the bed these days than the saddle. It seems I've missed a chapter. Are they... Aunt, do not insult my counselors. I value all of you. But your point has been made, and I shall hear another story. Who else wants to speak? I see now that I cannot allow the Empire to be broken into pieces, nor can I allow Seamus to become its ruler. Prepare the armies! It is time to march and destroy him! Might I suggest, noble Ivan, that you consider hearing everyone's story before attacking? I am certain we all have one to share. <coughs> I hear you, dear Bluebeak, and defeat Seamus we will. But the way in which this empire is won shall determine its destiny and its people's fates. You will have to burn Horncrest to the ground to get Duke Seamus to bow. Duke Ivan has made his decision. Not satisfied with his bunk. Are you plotting for his crown? Anastasia! Peace! The decision is yours. I have followed you for a decade of war, and shall see this through until its end. But surely the war can wait a few more hours. I'm ready to wage this last battle. Some more advice?
Your stories have convinced me. I must conquer the Empire and sit the throne. But what sort of Emperor shall you become? It is in this that I would have you hear all the stories of your counselors. In the stained glass window, each color works together to reveal the image. I agree with the wizard. The past of the Falcon Empire is a checkered one. What colors will your banner sport? We all have different agendas here, Elf. And the first for your clan is healthy commerce. The battles ahead will be the most deadly and trying, my dear dark friend. Spoils go to the victor, and I'm sure your spies have assured you that I am not playing both sides. You are welcome here, Lysir. Is there anyone else who wishes to tell me a story from our glorious past? Thank you all for your advice. I'm ready to face Seamus. Anyone else want to add something? So, counselors, there is also the matter of the Church of Light. Which stance should I take? It is time for the Empire to break from the Church of Elrath. We have never lived through darker times than under the protection of the Dragon of Light. Light heals. It is darkness that seals man from his destiny. Light blinds and light binds. Darkness simply recognizes that the angels cannot be right about everything. Anastasia, you know the story of Albertil. You cannot purge belief in a god so easily. Dragons die hard. This is the council of Ivan Griffin. Kente shall escort you outside, where Murazel and Anastasia might fight honorably with fists, and not words. Thank you again, Master of Arms. I don't think this will be necessary. We need another story. Or we should simply go and take our anger out on the enemy. I'm more than ready now. But I'll agree to hear out someone else, if you like. What shall be the fate of the family of the stag? How could we forget all the atrocities Seamus committed in the name of Elrath? He should die, along with his dragon. Without Elrath, every realm and petty kingdom from Renar to the Silver Cities will have dreams of invading. These are new times, and a new peace requires change. If you sever the head of the Hydra, too will grow in its place. Hydra? Come now, let's not compare a noble bloodline with a hideous monster. I have made my decision! The Falcon Empire is dead. I shall found a new empire. The Griffin Empire! The people shall abide by new laws, each more just and fair. They shall worship the dragons they choose, though Elrath shall continue to be honored as our patron. Now there's a novel idea. It could actually work. The slate would be clean. You could write your realm's own future. Griffin is stronger bird than Falcon. A good totem. The elves will assist Ivan, no matter how he names his empire. A clever twist of fate. The dragons still decide our fates. If I've learned anything, it is that. But we shall forge our own destinies. It's time for me to face Seamus once and for all. Any last advice? Thank you, my friends. Your advice is invaluable. I will defeat Seamus and a new empire will rise. A holy griffin empire. I'm ready. <laughs>